Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Tufu Boy, and this is actually the second video ever on my YouTube channel that is longer than usual, but still thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Uh, I just checked recently and you guys just kept on coming. Anyway, the generous folks over at XP Pen hooked up me up with one of their latest tablets. If you didn't know, XP Pen is actually teaming up with the Little Prince and the Artist Pro 12 and 16 second generation tablets have this very cute design on it. The first thing that I saw when I opened the box was like the stickers. Uh, it's like the Little Prince, you know, like stickers. It's really cute. And um, I don't think I'll be using them because like, you know, I have sticker anxiety. I always think that once you use the stickers, it's there permanently. It also came with three cables, a 3-in-1 HDMI cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and an extender for the power source USB cable, I think. Just for clarification though, this tablet does need to be connected to a computer. As in essence, it's really just a monitor with stylus capabilities and some buttons. Uh, this one can actually also connect to your smartphone though, but you still need to plug the tablet itself on a separate power source, so in the end you'll have to both use the 3-in-1 HDMI cable and the USB-C cable, so it's kinda messy to do that. When I tried, it's just not comfortable to use, but it's usable. If you're gonna use this on a phone that has Samsung DeX on it, you can actually transform your phone into a mini computer, which is like really, really fun to use actually. I tried downloading the Clip Studio Paint app on the Play Store, and it actually did look like the PC version. Uh, the only difference being I can't actually <laughs> comfortably use my keyboard shortcuts and the pressure sensitivity was kind of weird. Oh, also the pen does not need to be charged, which is always nice. I think most tablet stylus nowadays don't need to be charged anyway, but still that's really cool. One thing that I noticed though is that it didn't come with a stand uh, for the tablet and the stylus, and there's also no loop on the tablet where I can put the stylus on, so it's kind of been just lying around my shelf. I had to use the stand from my old tablet when I was recording the video so I didn't have to draw while it was laying flat on my desk, which was actually what I was doing for the first few minutes when I tested it out. My neck did start to hurt after a few minutes of using it like that, so I just had to borrow the stand from my old tablet. The other side of the pen actually acts like an eraser as you can see here. Uh, it automatically switches to the eraser tool when you use it like this so it kind of feels like you're erasing with a pencil. I kept forgetting about it though. I got too used to erasing with my shortcut keys. It's fine if you like this feature but I don't think I'll be using it that much on the video. Also, you might have noticed earlier that the boot up screen of the tablet also had the little prints on it, which is really nice. You don't really see this type of thing that often, so it's really, it feels very special. If you really love the little prints and is also planning to buy a tablet, then maybe this is your sign to buy one, because I, I do think there's like only a limited amount of stock for these tablets. The back of the tablet also had a little sticker of the little prints on it. It kind of feels a little bit overkill that the little prince is splattered all over this thing, but like, that's kind of the point of a collab anyways. The tablet also has shortcut keys on the side that you can configure to do whatever keyboard shortcut you want, and they're actually tactile. This actually is really thoughtful because if you're going to be using the shortcut keys, you generally won't be looking at the buttons. I don't really use shortcut keys in general though, but I did try my best to use them occasionally. Onto the illustration itself, I of course decided to draw the little prince. I was kind of nervous when filming this because one, it was my first time filming myself while drawing like this, two, it was my first time filming with my new camera and not just my phone, three, I'm using a new tablet. It was kind of too many new things all at once for me and it got a little overwhelming so I wasn't entirely satisfied with how the artwork turned out because I couldn't focus but I still do think it turned out nice. It's a pretty simple illustration of the little prince. Speaking of which, I've actually never heard of the little prince before and I just knew about it now because of the collab. I've been reading about it for some time now, so I have some things to say about it for this video. I may or may not have read it when I was a kid, I don't really remember, but some of my friends did get jealous when they saw that it was themed after the little prince. My sister even recognized it, I think. In this part of the video, I think I'm just gonna be voicing over my speed paint while I watch it. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just doing the shadows. I planned that the light should be coming from below 
so I had to like look up some references on what it looks like when the face is lit up from the bottom. It was actually my first time doing this kind of lighting because like I've just always been doing either a light from the top or just facing the character. So this was really really fun to draw because like it's also a new thing to me. So one thing to note is that I actually kind of struggled a lot with the hair because if you look at a photo of like the little prince, it's just his hair just does not make any sense in my style of drawing. So I had, I had to look up references on how to draw his hair and I just copied some of the hair that I found with other people's fan arts for the little prince. I mean I did not exactly copy the hair, I just drew what made sense. I also kind of struggled with the shirt. It was really simple and I'm not really used to shading like clothes like this simple. So you know I draw a lot of Genshin fan art so shading this kind of clothing was a little too simple for me and it was kind of weird but I didn't really know how to add more details to it. I didn't really want to uh, add too much shadow because it's not really wrinkly. Hi, it's like the next day of me recording the voiceover for this video. I recorded this video actually a few weeks ago and I have just been procrastinating on recording the voiceover and also the past few weeks have just been so like filled with things to do that I did not personally sign up for. I had like 20 assignments to do and they're all due on Monday. Anyway, enough of me complaining about the stuff that I have to do. As you can see, I'm doing the lighting for the face. I layered a multiply layer on top, then added an add glow layer to like add the lighting again. That's just how I do my colors. I know it's kind of weird because I did the shadows earlier and then now I'm putting a layer of multiply and then adding another layer with an add glow layer effect to add the lights again. That's just how I do color. I don't know how I came up with this process and method. I don't know if anyone else does this, but that's just how I do my colors. That's how I'm comfortable with how I do my lighting. Uh, I was doing the background and I just decided to do the galaxy because that's like the aesthetic that XP Pen was using when they were promoting the campaign with their partnership with the little prince. I think I removed the stars that I drew on the background because at first I think I added the stars because it felt a little too empty on the background when I was doing the sketch but then when I did the galaxy background it just felt like too cluttered and out of place so I just removed them. Here I was doing the details on the hair and improving the rendering. I think I was fixing the line art for some parts because uh, I think I just noticed I was so uncomfortable with the new tablet because I had trouble with adjusting with how the pressure sensitivity felt so my line art kind of looked weird. I hope you enjoyed the quick speed paint. Uh, in this video. I'll be posting more videos like this soon so it just takes a lot of energy for me to do videos like this but if you enjoyed this video please go like and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it and also thank you thank you for 20,000 subscribers even though I only have like one long form video and I haven't posted for like two months on my YouTube shorts. Really thank you thank you very much and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye!